What's up everybody? What you're looking at here is a uh, failed video. Well, not really a failed video, but uh, I was clearing space on my camera and uh, accidentally hit the erase all instead of erasing certain videos uh, to make more room on the memory. So uh, I opened all these cars on camera and um, erased the video. So uh, we'll have to show you guys here some of the stuff that I opened but first uh, I got a package in a while back um, I believe it was last week from uh, Mr. Badass the Badass YouTube Hot Wheels Burt uh, we did a little trade slash R-A-O-K and uh, these are some of the uh, loose cars he sent me um, got the Audi little rally car I have to take some compound to it. Somebody uh, colored in one side of it with a marker, <clears throat> but that's okay. Still a cool little car. The uh, Rough Trek Matchbox. Um, this car I had as a kid. It's all complete. Got the roll bar, the push bar, our brush guard, spare tire. Pretty much mint. So uh, glad to have this in my collection. Unfortunately, no suspension though. No. We got this old Lesney. Opening doors, BMW. It's supposed to be a 3 Series, but uh, it doesn't really look like any 3 Series I've ever seen. But uh, it's pretty much dead mint with the sticker on it before they started uh, painting the tampos on. We got another car that would probably be used as a custom. Looks like somebody tried to paint it as silver. Hook me up with this uh, Cadillac Eldorado. So I do have uh, both the base variations already, so uh, probably throw some nice wheels on that thing or something. Maybe paint it later on down the line. Got a uh, Monte Carlo Stocker, old red line. Very cool. And we got a couple cars I traded for. Uh, this uh, Malibu, Chevy Malibu, USA uh, Taxi Cab. And I have this uh, carded, but I don't have a loose one, so very cool to have one of these in my loose collection. We got uh, one of my favorites, the Pontiac J2000. Very, very cool car. Another one of those cars that you wouldn't be caught dead driving, but man, they make a cool little Hot Wheel. So really psyched to have that. And last but certainly not least, the XR3 Ford Escort in black. This is uh, the uh, Malaysia base, not the rare France one, but uh, it's good enough for me. The uh, insert plastic headlights, very cool, man. Big shout out, Hot Wheels Burt, man. You guys go check him out if you haven't already. Great dude. Thanks, Burt. Uh, the cars that I opened... Um, we'll start off with this uh, Mercedes 380 SL. A little German Shepherd in the back. And uh, see, I would have never known unless I cracked this sucker. It's got full working suspension, which is very cool. The Ultra Hots, which are not my favorite wheels, but uh, they look halfway decent on this car. Really cool. Also, uh, I picked up this police car. I do have a bunch of these, but just not this version. You see here, uh, on some of the versions I do have, you'll see how the, uh, the rear door is painted there, white. And on this one here, it's uh, just the front door is painted. So this is the first one of these I had. And a uh, nice, cool little uh, addition to my police car collection. And I bought this, which is a uh, Porsche 911. And I got this one because I had this one. And this one has the uh, Hot Ones wheels on it, as opposed to the regular black wall mags. Well, we got that. And then you guys may have seen this, which was a uh, pretty damaged... Uh, Real Riders card and uh, the blister was crushed on it, so uh, I had to crack it. Uh, Baja Breaker. Gorgeous, gorgeous paint scheme. Absolutely love the coloring and uh, 
It's the first one of these that I've had dead mint fresh out of the package. So uh, really the coloring is really awesome, man. This thing really looks slick. The uh, plastic opening hood, the old V8 in there. I mean, this thing shines and sparkles. Got tons of metal flake in it. I don't know if the camera is really picking up the metal flake, but man, this is a crazy, crazy looking truck, man. I love it with the blue and yellow and orange. Very, very cool. Um, let's see, what else do we got to show you guys? Uh, I picked up uh, some car share offline, the uh, 55 Chevy. Very cool, done in pink. Tons and tons of metal flake in this one. Now, uh, it's pretty much mint except for an issue there and uh, some edge wear by the, uh, by the headlights right on the seam there. But uh, nothing big, was pretty much almost mint. So really nice to have that. And um, I picked up another one of these yellow paramedics for a buddy of mine up in Canada. But um, I guess kind of great minds think alike. I know he needed one of these mint. He had one that was uh, pretty beat up. So I was going to surprise him with this one. But uh, he had already picked one up in the time that um, he was gone and came back and did more videos so uh i guess i have an extra mint paramedic but i got a really good deal on this one so no big deal <clears throat> and i also picked up this not so mint uh white paramedic the original red lines it's got considerable edge wear on it uh the tampos are still fairly good you know very legible and the stripes are still there and everything so uh I can use this as a filler. Uh, I paid about seven dollars for this. If you, you know, gonna get a mint one, it's usually in the high, mid to high thirty dollar range, low forty dollar range, if not more. Um, so uh, at seven dollars is a relative bargain. You know, I can't. I guess I can't have everything mint. So, even though I'd like to, you know me, I like to spend a little extra up front to get the nice stuff instead of buying a car twice or three times. Um, so, uh, again, from that lot, um, well, I got this car from my buddy Joe, Mountain Dew Stocker. And you guys remember, it's mint, but it's got the roof pillar that's bent. And I got another Buick that's pretty much mint. It's got a little bit of nicks here there, but it's got the same thing. The, roof, the roof's bent on it. So I thought that was a little weird. <clears throat> But, what I bought was this one. Another Buick Mountain Dew Stocker. But as you can see, if you put them together, the color green is different. This one here, the one that I had, was more of an olive green. And this one here is a little bit lighter of a green. There's also a really, uh, almost like a lime green version out there that's uh, quite pricey in comparison to these two. So, uh little bit of a variation there color variation like i said i got a good deal on it this one's got a mint roof pillar and it's uh pretty much dead mint so really cool to have those in my collection some buicks um now we'll get to uh some good stuff here the uh maxi taxi these next uh, five cars i got for 45 dollars shipped to my door some old school maxi taxi the old 442 not perfect got some uh some dings here and there but uh a car i've been after for uh, quite a while i don't know why my camera won't focus there we go um my first one of these the uh i think this is the torino stalker with the red lines Pretty much, um, uh, it's not really mint. I can't really say mint. It's got nicks here and there, but uh, really, really nice. For the money I paid for it, it's, uh, it's a relative deal for this car. I mean, it's in really pretty decent shape. So uh, I also picked up this, which is a quite, quite a rare car. Um, pricey. Um, I actually had this car as a kid, 
But believe it or not, mine was the tan interior, and that is uh, quite a pricey car. Uh, I believe it's a France-based car, and um, I remember that car having brown interior because uh, I, I, I know I have a good memory, and I know I had that car when I was a little kid. It's got the uh, louvered-style roof. And this one here, it's quite beat up. It's really not that nice, but uh, again, this is a... Uh, can be a hard car to find in good shape and uh, you can pay quite a bit for it it's a Shelby GT 350 it's called the Mustang Stalker so uh, pretty cool and also we got this finally got one an original 57 Chevy Redline this is uh, the first 57 Chevy that came out in the Hot Wheels lineup and it's in a fairly decent shape. I gotta go over and clean it up. Um, it's got like some grit on it. I think I can, uh, you know, put some uh, some cleaner on it and maybe even do a little wax on it and uh, really get this paint to shine. Make sure you use special kinds of wax when you uh, when you go over cars if you wax your cars because it'll take the tampo. Some waxes will take the the tampos right off you look at your rag and you'll see yellow on the rag and white in the rag and so uh, you have to use very very special kinds of wax and uh, I guess I can do a video and go over and show you guys uh, they make Hot Wheels wax and stuff like that from what I'm told but I use a, I'm a detailer by trade and I use a, a special mixture that I mix up myself and last is a car I've been wanting for quite a while Quite a pricey car if you have to find one minute. Uh, this is the heavy Chevy, original red line. Fortunately, the chrome has gone off the wheels. But uh, the tampos are really pretty much still legible. You can still see the number one there and how the tampo was. Very, very cool looking car. Like that. So I got these cars right here, all of them, for $45 shipped to my door. So, uh, very cool. About ten dollars, less than uh, less than uh, ten dollars a car. So, very very cool. So uh, that's my haul. Um, you know, I've really been wanting to open this thing. Uh, other than a yellowed blister, a slightly yellowed blister, this thing's mint. And uh, really been wanting to open this, but uh, you know. I'm into preserving things. I have this collection. It's really not my collection. Uh, I'm preserving it for future generations. And uh, I don't know if I'm being selfish in opening this thing. I mean, how many of these could there be out there? This is a rare truck as it is. And it's mint on card. Uh, you open it, the value goes down considerably. And I just know that if I open this thing, I'm going to find a mint loose one. Uh, for a decent price right afterwards and I'm going to regret opening it so uh, you guys tell me what you think should I should I crack this sucker or should I save it as is and uh, keep it mint on card just a quick question you guys will look at one of my jammers there so uh, if you guys want to see jammer videos go see uh, Master Loafer He's doing some some great great videos and uh, if you want to see some cool vintage stuff you guys can go to get her done 1975 you can go to master loafer you can go to badass um burt uh hot wheels burt you can go to wtffor one of the the best vintage uh video makers out there so uh there's definitely some great vintage guys out there and uh you know support them if you like it so uh I know I'm forgetting a few. There's a bunch other. I'll try and put them in the description box. Sorry about this video being so long. Me going on and on. Take care, guys.